Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool. And in this video we're having a look at how you can add your own objects to the Add Mesh menu. So quickly, what do I mean by the Add Mesh menu? What I mean is if you press Shift and A, you get your Add menu, and then in here you get your Mesh objects. And you'll notice I've got quite a few extra ones because I've added the extra Mesh objects add-on. Well, you can also get to it here, Add, Mesh, and then you've got your objects. But what if you've got a shape that you've made and you want it to appear here. So let's just have a look at this as an example. So I'm gonna make a pyramid. Now before anyone says, yes I know, if I go to cone and then bring that down to four, this will make a pyramid. But it's in the wrong direction for me. And yes, again, I know I could rotate this by 45 degrees, but I want this to work straight away in the orientation that I want. And I find these quite useful for things like spikes. So what I'm going to do is Shift and A, Mesh, and bring in a cube. Then I'm just going to tab into Edit Mode, select these at the top, M, and then at Center, and we've got ourselves a pyramid. Great. So now we're going to make that appear whenever I press Shift A, Mesh, it's going to be there in any file, not just this one. And to do that, we're going to use a free add-on, and it's called CreaPrim. Now, I'm going to talk about where to get this at the end because that gets a little bit complicated, but it's also a bit boring. But I'll deal with that then. I just want to show you how this works. So what we're going to do is give this a name. Let's call it Pyramid. And if we want to, we can give it an icon. There isn't really a good pyramid icon. Why isn't there an up arrow? That would be helpful. Um, I'm just going to use this, like it's on its side. But you don't have to put an icon if you don't want to, you can leave that, but I just want to show that this works. Now if you've got any transformations like rotations and things like that, you want to click this apply transformation, or if you've scaled it up, but I haven't done any of that so I don't care. So I'm going to click create primitive. Gives you this little reminder, and then we've got this sorted. So if I delete that, now if I just, let's get rid of the M panel, press shift and A, mesh, you'll notice I've now got a pyramid at the bottom, and my pyramid appears. Awesome, huh? And what's better is if I go to File, New, and General, don't even save this, and I come out of the splash screen and Shift and A, Mesh, and then here we go, it's down the bottom, Pyramid, we've got it. So it's that easy to do. You can add in as many things as you want. You've just got them there right at the bottom of your Add Mesh menu, whether it's there or here. Now I will say this feels less important now that we've got the Asset Browser, but I still really like this, because as good as the Asset Browser is, I want something that is just constantly there, and I've got lots of different assets. This is more where I'm going to have my ones that I think of as more of a priority. Now if you ever decide that you want to get rid of these, you can do as well. Just go to Edit, Preferences. And I think this might have changed because that box that appeared here gave you some instructions of how to get it and it wasn't quite right. All you do is type in the name of whatever your object is called. For example, mine was Pyramid, and you'll notice you've now got this Pyramid. And it has maintainer, I believe, Gert de Roost is the person that came up with this. So thank you very much if that was you. If I'm wrong, please feel free to tell me in the comments section. So if we ever want to get rid of it, we just uninstall that click OK, save our preferences if we haven't got auto save preferences on, and then Shift and A, Mesh, and now it's not there anymore. So it's as easy to use as that. Now, let's talk about where to get this. So as far as I can tell, originally this was part of the EWOC Projects add-ons, and there are a load of different ones here, and I'm going to be honest, I haven't looked at most of these, but we have CreaPrim, and then it has an option for download CreaPrim, except for it doesn't work. Don't know why it doesn't work, so that option is out. Then I found a place where it was being hosted on GitHub. I will put a link to this in the description just so you can check it, but this didn't work for me. When I came here and I downloaded it, the file that I downloaded just didn't work. And I'm not sure if that's just because it was with Blender 5 or not, but either way, I'll put a link to that in the description. Maybe this will get sorted out and it will work, or it will work for you. But thankfully I got emailed by a very kind soul called Darren who sent this over to me and then I was able to get it working. Now because this is under GPL which allows things to be sent out for free as long as you're not getting people to pay for it and I want to make this as easy as possible for people to find, I'm going to put this up on the Patreon. It's going to be a free file, I'm not making anyone pay for it, I just need a place to host it so that people can get this if they want it. And feel free to share that sharing link around, you shouldn't need to join the Patreon to get this 
and you definitely shouldn't have to pay for it. You can just download it from there. If you decide you do want to join the Patreon, you're very welcome to, and that would be really appreciated, but you do not need to. All you need to do is download it, and once you've got it, you'll have this object careerprim.py file. You need to compress that to a zip file. And once you've got that as a zip file, you can just go to Blender and drag that into Blender. I've got this installed already, so I don't need to do that. And I will put this up on the Patreon already as a zip folder, but I wanted to be clear about that zipping process just in case that option at GitHub does start working again. Anyway, sorry about the boring bit at the end, but I needed to go through that. Hopefully this is going to be useful for you, setting up and saving your own primitives for you to be able to use in Blender and all your different Blender files. If that is going to be useful, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button. And if you'd be willing to write a comment to help with YouTube algorithm nonsense, that would be even more awesome. Hope to see you in the next video, and have a great day.